Even when you feel low, you can still go. Hey besties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara Savage. In my previous video, I showed you guys how to make a three-part corset pattern. Like I showed you guys how to turn a two-part corset basically into a three-part corset. So in this video, we're going to be sewing it. Let's get into it. Now guys, I have cut out my pattern right here. This is what it looks like. For the body parts, I have added at least 6 inches from that waistline. So I'm using the bodies of the two-part corset. Remember, that's what we used to create our three-part corset cup. So we have to use that same pattern piece for this. So you're basically going to take those three-part corset cups that we made and the two-piece corset bodies, basically, and you're going to mix the two of them together. If you've not seen it, I'll link it up here so that you guys can go check it out. And also don't forget to add those 6 inches excess at the bottom of the waistline. So guys, for this, you would also notice I didn't, you know, have it as different pieces. I joined the pattern pieces like this before cutting it out on the fabric so that it can be one piece. I didn't want to be cutting out several pieces. So this is what it looks like basically. So make sure to join the pieces just like this before cutting out on your main fabric for this now on the sides as well make sure you add half an inch seam allowance on all the sides except the center front which is going to be cut on a fold so guys it's going to be easy to sew this one because you're going to just simply arrange it just like this you don't need to know which one is going to be the side which one is going to be with the center this is how it's going to be so just place it correctly the side and the center the back as well is together there's no pieces or anything this is what it's going to look like so i'm going to pin it down like that and then pin down the other side this one i have also cut out of the center back because i'm going to be using loops you guys know me i love my loops so i'm going to be using loops for this instead of a zipper and i'm going to just sew it down on the sides now i'm going to take my cup pieces and then i'm going to arrange it accordingly so can you guys see arrange it how it's going to be arranged where the arrow is going to the other arrow i have even put arrows on my fabric itself so be careful don't use a marker that is going to show on the other side so i'm pinning it together right sides facing pin it together just like that and then i'm going to sew it down that's it, the end of the song. Next time you'll sing along. Trust me, there's nothing wrong. I just need to carry on cuz guys, this is what it looks like. I have sewn it. I have sewn the cups. I have sewn the bodies. Basically, I'm going to use my ironing ball to open up the seam right here. And then I'm going to just take the top piece. Now, the top piece again is another thing you need to be really, really careful about. You need to be really cautious. The shorter side of the cup piece at the top should go to the shorter side of the cup basically the bottom cups so can you guys see make sure it's according to how it's meant to be and then pin it down and sew it down right there using half an inch seam allowance want to be the greatest everybody on the face shit i look around and feel like everybody now guys i'm going to take my boning casing so you can use bias tape you can use a loop and then i'm going to just sew it down right there so you can sew as many casing as you like you can use as many casings basically so i'm just going to take it and i'm going to make it a slant from the cup side to the center so it's going to be a slanted one instead of you know a straight line it's going to be slanted just like this can you guys see what it looks like now this is what i have so after doing it i decided to create a slant so it looks like a basque waist so depending on how wide you want your bottom to be i actually made it less than this this was too wide when i opened it so once i was done with the entire video i still reduced this whole thing so this was too wide for me and i reduced it i'm just going to cut it out like this like i said i still reduced it to be really really small it was too wide for me and then this is what it looks like so i'm going to insert my boning casing now for your boning casing you're going to measure what you have as your casing minus one inch so that you can have a space at the top and at the bottom when you're you know sewing 
even if this is a rigiline boning that you can sew on it i just wanted to be really careful so i don't break my needle still so i'm going to cut out one inch minus what i have as the boning casing so that i can have space at the top and at the bottom and i'm going to insert it in once you've inserted it in you're going to cut it according to that measurement so insert it in all the boning casings Is everybody in the world the end of the song and then we're going to take our cups basically just like this and i'm going to add casings to it to emphasize the lines basically so can you guys see what i'm doing i'm going to place my casing along the sewing of that side and once i'm done with that i'm going to place another one across basically just like this so i'm going to do it for everything don't let them tell you what to do man they don't know shit now guys you're now going to take the cups and the bodies and you're going to place it right sides facing so make sure the parts where you have the smaller side of the cup is facing the center side and then the place you have the larger side of the cup is facing the side so can you guys see what i've done right here the smaller side is facing the center the larger side is facing the side and this is what it looks like like a magnet lose won't have it till i'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rass in the song to. I'm not going to add my cups to it. In one of my next videos, I'm going to show you guys how to make these custom cups. So, in this video, I'm not going to show you guys here but you can use any cup ready-made cups custom cups whatever cups you want to use just insert it and then you can use hemming gum to even iron it to this fabric so that it won't even move at all so just place it right there and then it's going to look like this once you're done once you're done you're now going to take your lining piece and you're going to place it right sides facing the main fabric once you've done that sew it along the entire top and along the entire bottom so just like this the entire top and the entire bottom you're going to sew it down except the two sides so don't sew the two sides because you're going to turn it from there once you're done you're going to cut it snip the edges snip the corners all the curves so that when you turn it it's going to turn out perfectly well and guys this is what it looks like turned inside out now to make sure my lining does not poke out like this i'm going to take my hemming gum and i'm going to place it inside so in between the lining piece and the main fabric i'm going to iron it in between so that the lining stays inside where it is so i'm going to iron it right there and then i'm going to do this for the top and the bottom and once i'm done this is what it looks like can you guys see it's not even moving at all <laughs> then i'm going to go to the opening on the side fold it in by half an inch you can pin it down or iron it so that it can stay if you have a fabric that if you iron it it's going to stay iron it or pin it down then take your loops i'm going to use about 10 loops so i'm going to cut them two inches each and then i'm going to insert it as i'm sewing so it's easier when you're sewing you're inserting it one after the other and then do it for the other side and once you're done this is what it looks like now like i said i reduced this end right here so i folded it in basically and i used my hemming gum to you know make it stay instead of losing everything i just used my hemming gum to make it stay and then this is what it looks like as the final result i love how it turned out it turned out beautiful it turned out perfect guys i hope you guys love it if you have any questions please ask me in the comment section guys if you recreate this please don't forget to tag me on instagram at larasa with creations i'll be ready to showcase your work with all my growing followers and even here on youtube as well also join in as a member on this channel so that you can have one-on-one -on -one sessions with me and you know when you're creating your pieces i can help you all through the way that's one of the perks of being a member on this channel and also you also get the chance to have exclusive membership videos only and um you know the perks are so amazing so guys join in as a member thank you for your super thanks it helps me to know that you guys are loving what i'm doing please keep them coming in it makes me feel special and amazing 
please also watch my other videos subscribe to the channel like this video share within and outside your circle comment in the comment section and until my next video do have yourself a wonderful morning noon or night wherever you are it's still your favorite content creator and fashion entrepreneur lara savage signing out <laughs>